Strasbourg have been enjoying life under new manager Liam Rossinha so far this season. After beating Marseille this past week, Strasbourg see themselves up to 8th in the Ligue 1 table. With Blue Co becoming the new shareholders, Strasbourg have been making some moves this past summer. Raiding Blue Co's other club Chelsea, Strasbourg have brought in a triple header of loanees from the Blues. Andre Santos, Caleb Wiley and informed goalkeeper Petrovic have all made the moves to the French side this season. Another one to look out for is Sebastian Nanesi, the winger has joined from Malmo for 11 million euros. But today we will be taking over Strasbourg as we look to reach the ultimate success in club football, the Champions League trophy. So without further ado, let's dive into season one with Strasbourg. We are diving straight into season one with Strasbourg and as you can see here, we are going to go with the Gagan Press tactical preset for season one and the formation we're going to play is a 4-1-4-1. I think this really gets the best out of the players that we do have available. Obviously, you can see Andre Santos, Wiley and Petrovic, the Chelsea loanees and Morea on the wing who scored the goal on the weekend against Marseille. We also have Omega up top. I have used him in career mode previously and he actually is a good striker. So overall, I didn't actually realize the average age of this team is very, very low. A lot of these players in the starting 11 are like age 21 or under, which is really good to see because we can develop these players and hopefully turn them into a great team to win as many trophies as we can for Strasbourg. And with a transfer budget of only 9 million to start season one, I might not even bother trying to buy any new players. I think the squad that we've got overall is actually quite good to start off with just no transfers. I'm going to look at the squad hub and have an overview of the team and see if anyone needs to go out on loan or there's anyone that we need to sell on and then we may potentially make some transfers in season one. I we'll just had a look through the squad for Strasbourg and there's actually some really really good talents. A lot of the players in here like I said before are literally like age 21 or under but I have actually gone through and listed a few players and I've also put a lot of the young players like these two strikers on the loan list because they need game time and they're probably not going to get it at Strasbourg in this season. I said I wasn't going to sign anyone in season one but I just couldn't help myself and we have signed a new centre-back. Van Heck has come from Brighton for 10.2 million pounds 76 overall 24 years of age I wanted a little bit more experience at the back there because everyone is pretty much 18 19 or 20 so for 10.2 million pounds Van Heck is going to come in and play at the back I think this is a really good addition to the squad and he's going to go straight into the starting 11 and that is going to be the only transfer of this season one window that concludes the season one transfer window as you can see Van Heck was the only player we brought in for 10.2 million pounds and have been loaning out a lot of these players I mean look at some of these transfers it's just full of young talents that aren't going to get game time this season we did sell one of our older players he was literally contract was expiring in 12 months so i said you know what i'll just get the money while i can and uh this fey guy he is actually from the youth academy and he's got a really really high potential so i think sending him out on loan to sheffield united is a really good start for his uh, career in the championship two-year loan to sheffield united and that concludes the transfers for season one like i said a lot of these young players that aren't going to feature in this season for strasbourg i just decided to loan out so hopefully they get some game time and they come back ready to play for Strasbourg. This will be your team for season one. Petrovic in goal. Van Heck is coming in to play alongside Silla. Wiley at left back. Nanasi at left mid. And also we've got Andre Santos in the middle with uh, Diara and Decore. Omega is going to be leading the line, the only striker in this lineup. We've got a very, very young squad here. And I'm hoping that we can just try and challenge for a top half finish. But without further ado, we're going to dive straight into season one and see where we can finish with this young, young Strasbourg team. So that concludes season one and Strasbourg have finished 11. I did say if we could try and get a top 10 or a mid-table finish and I'd be happy with that. As you can see Strasbourg 11th place. 11 wins, 8 draws, 15 losses. We ended up on 41 points. To be honest with you there is quite a gap between us and the teams below us and there's only a little gap between us and 10th and 9th. I mean we're literally less than 10 points away from 7th place which is not too bad for the first season. Like I said this squad is very very young so it might take a couple of seasons for them to gel together. We unfortunately got knocked out in the round of 6 in the French Cup by Lens 3-0. It's a positive start though. Round of 16 in the cup competition. I'm happy with that. I know obviously it would have been nice to go further, but first season, we haven't done too bad. And finishing 11th of Strasbourg is not too bad. I really think this squad is going to be a really, really hard team to beat after a couple of seasons. And looking at the stats for the season, Omega on 19 goals. Really good to see, obviously, the standalone striker. And apart from that, we didn't really have anyone else bringing in the goals. But that being said, Strasbourg 11th place.
place in the first season. I'm actually quite happy with that. I did ask for a mid-table finish. But without further ado, we're just going to dive straight in to Season 2. With Petrovic going back to Chelsea from his loan spell in Season 1, we needed a new goalkeeper. And that's where we have decided to bring in none other than Gabriel Slonina from Werder Bremen. He is actually a Chelsea goalkeeper in real life, obviously out on loan. So he must have moved to Werder Bremen last season. But we've just spent £3.5 million on the 21-year-old goalkeeper. Five-year contract. He will be coming in to replace Petrovic. Unfortunately, he has gone back to Chelsea from his loan spell. I think Slonina is a really, really high, promising young goalkeeper that is going to be really good for us in the coming seasons. He'll be our starting goalkeeper for the season and probably the next five seasons. So he comes in to be our number one goalkeeper. We have made another signing in season two. And with Santos going back to Chelsea, we needed a new central midfielder. And I've decided to bring in none other than Lucas Bergvall from Tottenham for 4.5 million pounds. A highly rated 19 year old Swedish midfielder comes in. Like I said, 4.5 million pounds spent. Obviously, Santos has unfortunately gone back from his loan spell back to Chelsea. Bergvall, I think, is going to be a really, really good player in that central midfield role. 72 overall already, 19 years of age. And he's going to be a really, really good player for us over the coming seasons. So this is going to be the starting lineup for season two. Van Heck already up to a 78 overall. That's really nice to see. Caleb Wiley up to a 69. Nanasi is up to a 75 overall. Diara 75. The Corey 73. Bergvall, the new signing, has come in to play central midfield. And Omega, 75 overall, 22 years of age, has our striker. Obviously, last season got quite a lot of goals, to be honest with you. So that will be the team for season two. Again, a lot of young talent in this squad. I think we've got a really good chance to try and sneak into that top 10 for the league and season. Without further ado, we're going to go straight into season two. We have come to the end of season two and Strasbourg have finished 10th. We've actually gone up one place in the table, which actually isn't too bad of an improvement for the season. But when you look around, it's the same as last season. We literally finished only a couple points behind the top six. When you look at the table like that, we're literally like nine points away from being in the top four, which is absolutely insane. This squad is so young and I really do think in one or two seasons, time we're going to be absolutely dominating this league two years in a row we got knocked out in the round of 16 in the french cup marseille beating us 2-1 at least we're consistent with it you know getting around getting to the round of 16 is not too bad hopefully next season we can try and improve on that and try and get into the quarterfinals or into the latter stages so it is 10th for strasbourg in the second season in the league on table like i said not too upset with that i think obviously it is an improvement i know it's only one space but i think we can really build on this and like i said before this squad the squad is so young and we have such talent and players here. I think we could just do with a couple more signings to bring in both of the squad and hopefully climb the table. I think we want to try and target a, a conference league spot next season. We definitely have the squad to do it and I'm really hopeful. So that is season two over with. We're going to dive straight into season three. That is the end of the season three transfer window. And as you can see, we have signed a couple of players. Suleimana is coming in from Atalanta for £8.5 million. He's going to be our new central midfielder. He's actually going to play in the deeper role, in the CDM role. The £8.5 million is a really good pick up there. Next player is going to be David Muller Wolf. He is going to be playing left back for us. £2.8 million spent. 74 overall. I think he's a good addition because the current backup left back is actually going to be leaving at the end of the season. And with only Caleb Wiley left, I thought I'd bring in another left back to challenge and have some squad rotation with Caleb Wiley. And as you can see, the rest of the players were either just sales for players that are just never going to play for us. And then a couple of loans for the youngsters that again need a couple more seasons out on loan so this will be the lineup for season three Suleimana like I said has come into that CDM role he's going to play just behind Bergville and Diara Wolf is coming at left back he is going to be starting the season at left back obviously we do have Caleb Wiley as well other than that the team is unchanged and we've obviously got a stacked bench with a lot of youngsters that have been out on loan and that are back now Lukovic he's one of them and Faye both went out on loan and are now back with the squad so hopefully they can improve us from the bench that is going to be the team for this season i really do hope we can try and push up that table like i said conference league is going to be the aim for this season i think that is a sixth place finish in the french league that is the goal without further ado let's dive in to season three wow okay guys we have come to the end of season three and as you can see strasbourg have finished sixth what a big improvement from last season from finishing 10th this season we have finished sixth. 53 points we're only one point behind nice in fifth and only a couple of points off the top four obviously psg winning the league once again it was 
actually quite close. If you look at the, the points from 9th to 5th, it was actually very, very close. But I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Really, really solid season from the boys there. Top 6 finish. And I think that does get us Europa Conference League. Unfortunately, we had our worst run in the French Cup. The round of 32, we lost to Brest. 2-1, a tournament to forget about for the French Domestic Cup here. I'm hoping that we can try and get to at least the final or semi-finals in the coming seasons. I really want to win this one first. And going over the stats for the players here, as you can see, Omega, 29 goals. He's absolutely smashing up for Strasbourg. A couple of other players getting goals here and there, but let's be honest, again, it's just the Omega show. He's 29 goals in 35 appearances. That will be the end of season three. I think a top six finish is a very, very good progression. We can only improve, so we're going to dive straight into season four. Season four starts off with a brand new central midfield signing. It's coming in to play next to Diara. It is Alexander Praz from Hoffenheim for 20. 20 million pounds 82 overall 26 years of age 20 million pounds spent he looks really really good some of the stats on him 86 pace for a central midfielder is really really good and i'm really happy with this signing it is going to be the only signing of season four just because we didn't have that much money in the bank and i think he is more than enough for us in season four so this is going to be your season four lineup praz has come in to the central midfield role to play with sulemana and diara really solid midfield bergvall obviously he actually has been playing well for us but he has handed in a transfer request, so I'm not sure if he's going to stay around or not. Looking across the team, Wolf's up to a 76 already. Van Hecken, 79. Omega, 80. Bakwa, 82. Really impressing on the right-hand side. And obviously, we have a lot of young talent on the bench as well, which I'm really, really happy with. So this is the team for Season 4. Obviously, with Conference League football now, I really want to try and push on for now, like a top four spot in the league. Obviously, Conference League, we want to try and win it, of course. And we also are still chasing our first French Cup. Without further ado, we're going to dive into Season 4. Unfortunately, guys, we've got halfway through the season and we're in January and Bakwa has decided to leave Strasbourg for £75.9 million. Pounds. That is a lot of money. He was our star right winger. And unfortunately, he's actually, I think he had a release clause, if I do remember, of £75 million. I think he had a release clause. I can't remember. I just noticed that we had £70 odd million in the budget and I was like, where's that money come from? And I've looked again and Bakwa has gone to Hoffenheim for £75.9 million. Pounds. So that means we've got a lot of money to use if you want to go and spend it. And essentially, we do need to go and replace him. So I'm probably going to have to go do some scouting and see if we can pick anyone up. So then, guys, I have decided to go out and sign Jan Kuto from Manchester City. Obviously, needing a new right mid. 86 overall, £59.1 million spent. And the 25-year-old comes in from City. 86 overall is going to fit straight into that team to replace Bakwa that we just sold. So then, guys, we come to the end of Season 4 and Strasbourg have finished 5th. Another improvement from last season as we see Strasbourg finish 5th in the table with 16 wins, 9 draws and 9 losses finishing on a total of 57 points 1 ahead of Leon and 2 ahead. Again it was quite close from 4th down to 8th. We're only 3 points behind Nice. We're only kind of a couple of points away from getting that top 4 spot for that Champions League place. But it will be Europa League for us next season which is actually really really good. Unfortunately we got knocked out in the round of 32 in the... Unfortunately we got knocked out in the round of 32 in the French Domestic Cup. Again just not very good in this competition. We haven't got past the round of 16 yet. And we're actually in the Europa League this season. As you can see, we got to the playoff phase. But we got absolutely battered 6-4 on aggregate against Alasio. So next season, we're going to try and do a bit better than that and try and get into the latter stages and win the whole competition. Guaranteed Europa League football for next season, which is really good to see. And we're finishing fifth in the league, which is really, really good. Another improvement. Like I said, we're just constantly improving each season. So I think this season coming in season five, we want to try and aim for that top four finish. So without further ado, we're going to go straight into Season 5 now, and I think we should be able to get a decent transfer budget, because we do need to try and sign some new players to bolster the squad once again. I think the squad we've got is obviously really good. As you can see, we finished 5th, so it's obviously good enough. I think we just need a couple more additions to the team. So without further ado, let's jump in to Season 5. We start Season 5 with Jan Kuto arriving at the club, like I showed you in the January. We, we're actually just outside the window, which is why he didn't join in January. I only realised that we sold our right winger for 76.5 million after the January transfer window had actually closed. So Jan Kuto comes into the team 86 rated at right mid, age 26 now. But look at those stats on him. He looks really, really good and I'm really happy with this addition and he can also play right back. Our second signing of season five brings in a new central midfielder. I've had my eye on him for a couple of weeks now. I've had my eye on him for a couple of seasons now and I have decided to finally pick him up. It is Pavlovich from Bayern Munich for 24 and a half million pounds. 
24 years of age, 81 overall. He's going to go straight into the starting lineup ahead of Suleimana. I think he's just a really, really good upgrade. And Suleimana will just go to the bench and be a rotational option. We have another new signing coming to Strasbourg. It is Matthias de Jong. It is Matthias de Jong from Union Berlin. £14.5 million paid for this really, really young centre-back. Only 17 years of age and he's already 76 overall. I'm looking forward to using him. He's probably going to replace Van Heck once he leaves. I think he's got another season or two in him. A really highly talented player joining Strasbourg in Season 5. So that is going to be the end of Season 5 transfer window. Obviously, as you've seen, Palovic has come in for £24.5 million. Mateus de Jong has come in for £14.5 million. We also had Jan Kuto, who have finally arrived from his pickup earlier in last season. We have sold So and one of the youngsters, Oscar Pereira, because we just didn't really need them. So I decided to sell them, get a bit of money, and then just use that into buying Pavlovic and Mateus de Jong. So this is how your Season 5 Strasbourg team is going to be looking going into the new season. Donina in goal still. He's doing really, really well. Due, De Jong, Celia, Wolf are the back line. Pavlovic in the centre mid role. Pavlovic in the holder midfield role with Diara the captain and Praz still there. Really, really like this midfield trio. Jan Kuto, the new signing, comes in at right mid. 86 overall. Looks really, really good. Nanasi as well on the left-hand side is looking really nice as well. Omega, look at those stats, man. He's absolutely bossing it for us. 84 overall now. We still have a lot of talent on the bench as well. So that is the squad. Really hoping we can try and get into the top four this season. We've made a few improvements to the team. Would also like to try and win the French Cup this season. We've had a lot of disappointing results in that tournament over the seasons. And we want to try and get past that playoff position in the Europa League as well. So without further ado, we're going to go straight into Season 5 with Strasbourg. We end Season 5 finishing third with Strasbourg. Finishing on 65 points is a real, real big achievement. As you can see, second and first, Marseille and PSG are well ahead of us but there's massive improvements have been made for Strasbourg up to third which means Champions League football next season we actually made it to the quarterfinals and got knocked out by Monaco who actually made it to the final so we've actually had a big improvement in the French Cup finally getting past the round of 16 Oh, we were so unlucky, guys. We got knocked out in the semi-finals against Anderlecht. 3-2 on aggregate. Lost 2-0 at home, which is really disappointing to see. Final is West Ham against Anderlecht, which should have been us. But next season, we have Champions League football to try and win. Obviously, it's going to be a lot harder than Europa League, and we didn't even win the Europa League. But I just want to show you the squad for the end of the season. I mean, look at some of these players. Omega, 87 overall now. Pavlovic, 83. Jan Kuto is 86. Due at right back, 82. And Nanasi is 80. 84 overall really really good improvements from the team this season without further ado the season is over we finished third we're going into the champions league and hopefully we can try and win a trophy in season six we're kicking off season six with a new left back signing we decided to go for someone a bit older with a bit more experience and it's none other than a hartman from leipzig for 42.9 million pounds i know that is a lot of money for a left back but he's 84 overall and I think him and Due on the fullback positions are going to do really, really well for us this season. 84 overall, 42.9 million pounds. He is the first signing of season six. So guys, it is only going to be the one transfer for the season because when we look at the team like this, I'm actually really, really happy with it. Hartwin comes in to play left back. Due at right back. Jan Kuto right wing. Omega up top. Pavlovic in the middle of Diara and Praz. I think they look really, really good together. And the defense is really looking solid. So I'm really happy with this team. So I'm not going to be doing any more more transfers i don't think we need it but because we've got champions league football this season we really need to kick on in both the champions league and the league also like i said last season i really want to try and win this french cup it has been a long time coming we did better in it last year but hopefully this year we can try and win that trophy so without further ado, guys, we're going to dive straight into Season 6. Would you look at that, guys? We finished second in Season 6. One point behind PSG. Can't believe that. It's probably gone down to like the last few games. It was literally one point in it between us and PSG. We have literally improved every season, which is so good to see. Hopefully next year is the year we can finally lift that Ligue 1 title. Unfortunately, in our debut season in the Champions League, we actually got knocked out by Borussia Dortmund 3-2 on aggregate. It's quite disappointing to see, but you know what? For the first time in the 
Champions League. We managed to reach the playoff round. I'm not too disappointed, but we really need to improve on that next season. And we finally won the French Cup. I said I wanted to win it, and we have finally done it in Season 6. The first trophy of this Strasbourg rebuild. 5-2 winners against Marseille. I'm really, really happy with that. We finally won a trophy in this rebuild. So now the main objective is to win the Ligue 1 title and win that all-important Champions League trophy. We're going to be heading into Season 7 now with Strasbourg, and I'm really, really hopeful we can have a really good season. So without further ado, let's dive into Season 7. We have made a massive signing for Season 7. Enzo Fernandez has joined Strasbourg. The central midfielder comes in from Newcastle United in the Premier League for a whopping £60.5 million. He will be playing next to Diara in central midfield, 86 overall, and Diara 85 overall. I think because we are chasing that Champions League and League 1 title, needed a bit of experience in the midfield, and Enzo Fernandez is definitely going to be the player to do that. The latest signing for Strasbourg is going to be a new centre-back. I've really decided to go out and bring someone in with a bit more experience at the back. Eduardo Caresma from Aston Villa for £50 million, plus Sulemana has gone the other way. 86 overall, 28 years of age. Him and Silla will play next to each other at the back line. And he has come in because he's a really, really good centre-back. 86 overall, really happy with this. As you can see, we also sold Alexander Praz. He was getting a bit older, and I think that is his release clause, £50 million. I mean, I can't say no to that. We brought in Enzo Fernandez for 60 million and Charisma for 50. So that is going to be the end of the transfer window for season seven. This will be your team for season one. I'm really, really excited for this season. Charisma, the new signing, and Enzo Fernandez as well coming into the starting 11. Kuto, 87 rated as well. He's really impressed me. And Pavlovic, really, really happy of how he has progressed already as that holding midfield role. Omega, the main man, 90 overall. I can't believe how good this guy is. He is definitely, definitely one to watch in real life. He is the main man for us he has won us the french cup already but now we've got two more goals in mind the champions league trophy and the league and title can we do that in season seven let's find out we will be diving in to season seven and to see if we can finally finally win that champions league trophy and the league and title strasbourg have won the league and title we have finally done it guys we have beaten psg to the title we actually finished on the same points as psg but we managed to win on goal difference scoring a total of 87 goals across the season i'm absolutely buzzing with that really really nice to see we only lost two games in the whole season we beat psg in the i think that's like the super cup type of thing or like the community shield of the french league obviously psg winning the league last year and we finished winning the domestic cup so it's nice to get another trophy that we haven't actually won yet that makes it two for two unfortunately we got knocked out by marseille on penalties in the french cup in the quarterfinals and we have finally made it to the champions league final we will face real madrid in the champions League final. I'm absolutely buzzing. We've finally got to the final of the Champions League and Strasbourg have one more goal in mind and that is to lift the Champions League trophy. This is going to be your Strasbourg team for the Champions League final against Real Madrid. I mean look at some of these players. Absolutely insane. We've still got five players that actually started at season one with Strasbourg. Silla, Douai, Diara, Nanasi and Omega are all here from season one. I'm really, really excited for the Champions League final. I really think we're going to absolutely smash Real Madrid. This team is one of the best teams I've ever had. So without further ado, we are now going to go into the Champions League final to see if we can finally lift that Champions League trophy. Bernardo Silva plays it through to Mbappe. Mbappe is through and it's saved by the keeper. What a save that was. Really good start from the goalkeeper. And we can actually go on the counter attack here. Omega going to wait for that run. Niasi, can he get in on goal and take the shot away? It's blocked and saved as well by the keeper. Really good start to this game. Oh, it's a terrible pass and Mbappe's through and he's tried to chip the keeper. Well, what a save that is from Solina. He's had a really, really good game so far, our goalkeeper. Ball's whipped in. It's a good header away. And Enzo, oh, what a touch that is from Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez is through on goal. Has he got the pace to get away from the defender? The defender is tracking back. He cuts inside. Enzo Fernandez. Oh, it's saved by Simon. Enzo now picks up the ball. Omega. He finds Due Kuto. Can he get the cross in? It's Omega. Oh, what a header. And what a goal from Omega. This guy has been absolutely insane for us in this Strasbourg rebuild. Jan Kuto with the cross. From the right hand side. What a header that is from Omega. 
No way in hell should he be getting on the end of that. What an insane header. Look at that. Just inside the post. It's an absolutely brilliant goal. And that puts Strasbourg 1-0 up in this Champions League final. Here come Real Madrid now. Down the right hand side with Yilmaz. You have to try and trap back with the defender. He's going to cut this one back to Jude Bellingham. It's Bellingham. And it's great defending. And we can actually counter here if Diara can get the ball to Enzo. He's going to play through Omega. That is a cracking ball from Enzo Fernandez. Omega does a little step over. And it's in. Oh, it's not. I thought the ball went into the top corner. Omega. Oh, it's so close to going to in the lap in the final. What an effort that is. Here comes Jude Bellingham charging down this right-hand side. He cuts it back to Yildaz. And that's a cracking ball in. But we've actually managed to clear our lines here. And Diara, the captain, comes away with it. Enzo, can he find Yankuto? What a pass that is from Enzo Fernandez. Yankuto's through. He squares it. Omega! Oh, he's put it wide. Yankuto has got the ball deep in the Madrid half. Enzo Fernandez, can he play it back to Kuto? He can. It's Yankuto going to hang this at the back post. What a ball that is. Oh, and it's wide. Pavlovich now on the ball. Plays it to Yankuto again down this right-hand side. Going to wait for that overlapping run. Due, big touch down the line. He's going to float this one to the back stick. Oh, we can't get enough power on it. Here comes Bellingham now on the ball for Real Madrid. It's a bad tackle, but we kind of needed us to make it there. Only four minutes left of this Champions League final. And Mbappe's on this free kick. Quite deep in his own half. And we just need to try and get this ball back and hold it. To keep our 1-0 lead in this final. We're nearly there, boys. Vinny Jr. coming down the wing. It's a great bit of defending. The last minute of the game. Jan Kuto is just going to run down the line. Oh, it's a great tackle. Omega's throw on goal. Omega... Oh, it's a great tackle, but surely that's game over. And it is. Strasbourg have won the Champions League final. What a great result that is. We absolutely dominated Real Madrid today, but we only scored the one goal. But that doesn't matter because Strasbourg have won the Champions League. Absolutely buzzing with this rebuild. I really like the fact that we had five players from the first season in this Champions League final playing and starting for us. Omega, what an absolute great talent he was for us up top, scoring the goals. Diara, the captain, was also still here with us for the Champions League final. And as you can see, Diara, the captain, going to lift the Champions League trophy for Strasbourg. They have won the Champions League final. It only took us about seven seasons, but we did it. We have done what we wanted to do at the start of the video, and that was win the Champions League with Strasbourg. I hope you guys did enjoy this rebuild. I absolutely loved rebuilding Strasbourg. I really, really think they're a great team and I think they're on the up in real life. But this will be the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos and let me know what you think about these rebuilds if you enjoy them. Uh, because obviously, they, I really, really do enjoy editing them and making them and playing career mode, obviously. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. I really appreciate the support on the recent videos. Absolutely loving SG25 and I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. So I'll catch you in the next one.